let's yeah. talk a little bit more about Graham Graham's relationship Wait. with you as his boss. Uh, okay. Okay. That that really excites right. me. You know. Let's talk about it. So, obviously, the relationship between a boss and its and his employees is very unique because, like, you know, you have one person giving orders, one person receiving orders. Was there ever any flack between Graham and you? Was there ever anything that you told Graham to do where that didn't sit very well with you, Graham? I'm trying to think if if he ever gave me any kind of flack. I don't remember. He was he was pretty damn good. He because see the problem was that you're, we're trying to we're trying maybe Graham remembers some, yeah, yeah. but I mean I I'm, I'm pretty I was pretty easy guy to work for yeah. for the most part i just wanted my deadline if if you reach your deadline and you you know you did a good job i, I think you got a little whiny sometimes when i asked you to re-edit photos sometimes you got kind of <laughs> whiny about it i mean he was making like at, at the end i think he was making like a buck a coral so if we're doing yeah. like 150 or 200 or 300 corals a, a week that's for for a you know 15 year 16 year old, yeah. year old you're always making good that was bank good money. Yeah. Back, back then yeah. that was bank i mean you think about it you can do i don't know how many corals you were processing an hour i tried to uh, get with to 100. photoshop oh 100. yeah 100 corals was my minimum if i was going in per in. hour no, yeah. no 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 per, per hour no per hour i think it was anywhere from 15 to 30 depending on yeah. what it was and how quickly I could turn them out. Like yeah. sometimes the bigger colonies took longer because it was difficult to Photoshop and get it accurate. But yeah. like sometimes the smaller things, just knock them out, knock them out, yeah. knock them out, knock them out. Um, but so, yeah, he yeah. would definitely get whiny sometimes when I would ask to go back and re-edit some of those because, <laughs> I mean, it was a lot of work. But yeah. you know, I had you know I had an expectation of what stuff had to look like. Yeah. Even to this day, um, I do the same thing, um, very similar to it. And I you know I will say, okay, I got to get you know this has to look like this and that's look because in my brain I know what the coral looks like. Yes, and it has to look that way. Otherwise, it, it's because the problem is is if you produce a coral that. Um, that isn't quite right. Uh, the issue is, is that if the colors are off or it's too bright or too saturated as, as, as this industry believes, um, that a lot of these corals just don't look the way they, they, they do in real life. Um, you, you have to be able to tone back. You have to increase, you have to pull it back. You got to crop it right. You got to have the right, it has to be clear. It has to be concise. Yeah. It has mm -hmm. to be, you know, it has to look right. So yeah. you're saying some sellers would turn up the saturation of the photos to make it seem like the coral was more yes. Yes. colorful yeah. than it yes. actually is. Yes. Because in coral, you want it to be very colorful and vibrant. 